Hello again, my creative friends. Of course, this is Becky with Becky's Creative Spoony Beehive. And today I'm going to share what we what I do to keep my um, stove things clean. And uh, this came because somebody posted a question about how do I clean these on one of the Facebook pages I'm in. And unfortunately, by the time I saw that post, it had been closed, so I couldn't say anything. But I was honestly surprised that there was like 10 or 20 comments, and they all said, just go buy more rings. And only one said, well, go buy more rings. And then when you get those, line them with aluminum foil. This is something I've done. I can't remember. I don't remember if my mom did it when I was a kid. We got a we got a glass top oven when I was a teenager, so I don't remember anything before that. But I know I did this when I was married about twenty years ago, and it does. It saves you know. It saves you having to go. And, worry about cleaning the rings and the trays and having to go buy them and I don't know about you others yeah they're cheap but I can't afford even something like that right now so which is better N neither one's better environmentally but which is better money wise go buy go pay 10 20 bucks for new rings or a two or three dollars for aluminum foil maybe once a year I mean I don't go through aluminum foil that fast but this is I you know so I'm, and I need to replace a couple of these some of these I did just a couple months ago so I don't need to replace those yet but yeah aluminum foil is going to be a lot cheaper than going and replacing them <laughs> so here we go I'll get these show you how I do this okay I'll be right back there we go and hope oh, you should be able to see me so let me grab the ones that need to be replaced and oh yeah and in case you're wondering this is an old stove and these two burners right here like to not sit flat I don't know why in them so usually you can set pots on top of them now and I will, but other than that, I don't worry about it. So we're going to replace this one and this one over here. And part of the rings. Look how dirty that is. Yeah, it needed to be cleaned to be replaced. And yes, this is dirty too, and it needs to be washed off, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So, just grab your tin foil, pull it so it's a little bit out, so it's a little bit longer than the tray. And then get it to work. There we go. And then put it so it's on this side. Just coming over the edge there. And then you push it down to where it comes to the bottom of the tray. And just go like that. Get it so it's a relatively good fit to the tray. And stick that one back on there. Stick the cord side to where the cord goes there. Oops. And there we go. Okay. And this one. 
Now this may be sticky depending on what you've cooked with and what spilled over, okay? And again, this one, some of the aluminum foil did stick on this one and it, it could use a cleaning, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna do another one here. Same thing, just a little bit wider than the width of the tray. You don't have to do anything fancy fancy here. And then I'm going to put this back on. It Sometimes they come off, but put this one back on. And you want to secure them on the bottom. And I'm going to do one strip. Oh, and it works out. I just have a little bit here that's. I don't want to. It'll work for this. Okay. Okay, this is actually a little too short, but we're going to split it in half and see if this works. Okay, so. It is in a circle, so you're going to have to fold a little bit. Fold it under there, and that'll sec help secure it. And then this side. And I don't, I know there's a shiny side and a less shiny side. I don't really think that it matters which side goes up. That maybe depend on your preference. This one, this will. Let's see how hard this is. You just want to peel them off if, again if you can. And this one needs clean too, but again, I'm not going to worry about it right now. And like I said before, they do get sticky, but that's not too, it's not very sticky. And your, might, your hands might get a little dirty. This, yeah, this might be a good thing to use gloves with if you want. You know. I never have. Never, I never had it get, get my hands dirty either. So. Okay, so this one's going to take at least two pieces. Okay, so just get out. Not quite this wide. <laughs> yeah. Enough to cover the yeah, enough to cover and go over it. All right, and, and attach from the from the bottom. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Right. And then And this was actually a little, probably a little too wide anyways, but that's okay. There, this is going to cover about half of it. So like I said, at least two pieces. Is that about two inches wide? A little bit more than that. Oh, and that's going to be just about perfect.
Oh yeah. There's just a little bit open right there. Oh, there we go. And it got a crack right there. But I'm not going to be worried too much about that. This burner I don't use very often, so it'll be okay. And then while I'm here, I'm going to replace this one that's gotten a little bit holy. <laughs> and this burner that's got gotten a little dirty. So make them all look pretty now. <laughs> I'm just going to need a little bit just on this one big part here. Again, this is a burner that I don't use very often as much, so I'm not going to worry about these two little spots there. said it's not a burner I use very often. Well there you go. Just you want to keep your burner coils or whatever the word is <laughs> clean. Wrap them up in aluminum foil. It won't cause any fires or anything and you can just like you saw me do grab the tray dump it out change it out with more aluminum foil and then you don't have to worry about having to buy new ones every three or four months or however often. Oh, and that's got a hole there too. I'm gonna fix that one. And makes them look all shiny and pretty. <laughs> and there you go. If you like this video, give it a like and feel free to subscribe for other tips and tricks and if you noticed i was sitting in this video yes that's part of a chronic illness okay so this is something you can do sitting or standing i've done it stand i did it standing before when i wasn't sick I didn't have an illness yeah okay so there you go we'll talk to you later you take care be kind be sweet and be creative bye-bye